In today's video, we are discussing how your architectural professional helps you to submit your building plans at Council. Hi and welcome, I'm Vicky from Functional Form and today we are discussing Council submission. So let's say you have either an existing structure or you have a new building. You've just went through the design stage. What now? I would like to highlight that this video is based on properties in South Africa and also each submission has its own challenges and rights and constraints based on that site or that building. But this is just a broad overview to help you and guide you through this process. Today we are discussing these five steps. First, preparation, documentation, sign off, other authorities that you might need to submit with, and lastly, the local authority, the big one, and what you can expect from that. Preparation. There are two types of projects. It's the new project, we just walked through the design stage in our previous video, so I'm not going to spend too much time on that. So this a new project, you don't need any other preparation, you can just move on to the documentation. The second type of project is the existing building. Now, the first question is, do you have approved council drawings? Um, if you don't have, we will help you to get the drawings but it's very important the documents that you have need to show the council stamp um, in the past we we had clients where they bought a, a structure or a property and they received existing plans and you can see that it was legitimately made there's architects and whatever but there's no council um, stamp on it Council will not accept that and you need to document everything from scratch and so make sure that you have that stamp. Once we have that, those plans, we go to site and document everything. We measure and make sure that what is on the plans reflect that what is on site. Documentation. Now you have the framework and the foundation, all the information that you need, and now we start to document those drawings for council. Drawings that you can expect is the locality plan, basically the overview, site plan, plans, roof plan, sections, elevations, schedules, door and window schedules, electrical plan, water layout, um, details, calculations, energy, energy calculations. It is important to take in consideration when you evaluate all your quotation from architectural professionals that at the end you get what you pay for. So the amount of detail that you will get from this stage might allow you to exit the architectural process at the end of um, the council submission stage and give it to a contractor so that they can quote on that but and the more detail that you can give them the more accurate tender they will be able to give you at the end so just take that into consideration when you point someone and because uh, council only requires a certain amount of information anything above that is just a win for you and in, improves your investment as well sign off meeting so after everything has been documented and prepared we send it to the printers and print a1 all the documents a4 or a3 depends on the submission and we make an arrangement with the engineer we take the plans to them they sign everything off after that we meet with the client for the sign off meeting now what you can expect from that meeting is we talk through the entire plan and all the documents that you need to sign um, you need to know what you're signing so we just really talk through all of that and also we explain what to expect from the rest of the stage timelines and all of those things so it's really informative meeting and basically to get everything signed 
other authorities that might need um, approval prior to submission. Big one is normally the homeowners association. Each estate is different. Um, I normally have a separate page for the estate. So some estates, for instance, want a breakdown of all the materials that you're using on the facade and what the percentage is of each one. I mean, council doesn't want that, so I keep that separate. Yeah. Lastly, you submit to the local authority at council. Get the pink form. What pink form? The one you need in order to get permit A38, window 12, the second floor, staircase B, corridor J. <sighs> so I prefer to work with a lady that specializes in the submission of plans. Um, it's her career to be there every single day at council and I found that that's the most cost-effective, time-effective um, way to do that. At the end you appoint the specialist in their field. She takes the plans to all the different departments and she knows what she's doing definitely. So I found that that's the fastest way to get plans approved. After it has been circulated to all the departments, she lets me know, listen, the plans are ready, these are the comments from the different departments, and she brings it back to me and make all the changes. I inform the client and I give it back to her. She takes it back to the departments and to the uh, and after that to the fine finally back to the initial examiner for the final approval. So that is the process. I have to admit, this past year has been very tricky to give a timeline and it's, it's not wise to do that. We don't know when uh, there are lockdowns at the specific departments and it's very difficult to give a timeline. But just prepare yourself that it's going to be a while. So, as a result, I advise that if you are thinking of selling your house or you want to get anything ready or in line or you want your plans updated, get it done as soon as possible. Don't wait until the last minute when you want to sell your house and they say, listen, for the sale to go through, we want um, approved building plans and then you need to rush and everything. The process is very long at the moment, so get it done early. Don't procrastinate. I honestly hope that this video helped you. Um, the main point is I hope you relax. Your architectural professional should guide you through this whole process. Don't get stuck uh, or overwhelmed. But secondly, I hope that you will be patient. Give yourself enough time if you want to make any changes or if you want to sell your property, give yourself enough time to get it done. So if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me or you would like me to find out if you have existing plans at council, please let me know as well. I would love to help you. But hope you have a lovely day and thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up and Enjoy your day!